We're in a Cisco Catalyst switch. It could be either 2000 or 3000 series. And I'm going to show you the difference between the IP default gateway and IP route. Now, out of the box, the switch is not a router. It's not a layer three router until you tell it to be. So uh, if, if we want to simply set our default gateway where our router is, uh, then we only need to uh, type in set uh, IP default gateway. So let's go ahead and do a show IP default dash gateway. And there we go, show IP default dash gateway. And it shows us this is our particular gateway. So if you want to get out to the internet, you want to get to another switch, you want to get to the firewall, whatever it is, it shows our gateway. Now, as soon as we turn routing on by typing IP routing, we have to do that in global configuration mode. Now, uh, this particular default gateway is no longer valid for being routed. So what we have to do now is we have to type IP route and then 0.0.0.0, .0, .0 again. And then we have to put in the gateway 10.1.0.1. Now, when we do that, that automatically uh, will take the place of the default gateway. So um, if you, as soon as you turn IP routing on, it will no longer route to the internet until you type in that IP route. So let's go ahead and click exit and type show IP route. And you can see here that uh, we have our uh, different routes that we've typed in in previous commands. And the, uh, re the uh, gateway of last resort is this 10102. So that's the difference between an IP default gateway and IP routing commands. It's simply when you turn on IP routing, the default gateway is no longer valid. Now you have to type in the IP route command.